so do we're, we're hearing all these conflicting things about what's going to be next for Francis beyond the, the, the Joshua fight. So, you know, the return to MMA is keeps getting talked about uh, the PFL executives are, are targeting December for that. He said that, you know, that um, he wants that the rematch with Fury, um, you know, a win over AJ only puts him higher up in the boxing world. Do you, from your perspective, like, where do you think he goes on March 9th? Like where, where does his journey take him? And, you know, what do you think is best for him at that point? Well, I can tell you one thing. Isn't it great, guys, any of us, isn't it great when you have more than one option towards success and wealth and happiness and being able to take care of your family and make a difference in your community? Isn't it great to have more than one route? And that's what you see with Francis right now. So he's in a very privileged position that he deserves completely. Um and he keeps saying that he will fight mixed martial arts before this year is over with. And I don't know how, but if that's what he says, that's what he'll do. Because, man, when Francis says something, normally it happens. If the business don't make sense, then that's up to him and his, his management council to decide that. In my opinion, all he has to do is say, hey, we're doing this and we're going to tra- start preparing and training hard for victory. A lot of people are saying, you know, if you get this done against Joshua, get the money fight and boxing and blah, blah, blah. And, of course, we all need money to live. But, I, you know, I don't think money is Francis's only motivation because it definitely is in mind, legacy, championships, and, and, and being the pride of your country is more important. And, um... I, whatever he does, I just wish him the best. I'm going to train hard to do it. It all starts March 8th. That's what matters the most right now because that's the endeavor we have in front of us, and that's the one we're focusing on being successful. But imagine this. He wins this fight. Tyson Fury somehow beats Usyk, which is not a guarantee. Imagine having the rematch of a fight where you know we won that thing a rematch in October or September or whenever against Tyson Fury, 12-round fight for all the undisputed titles in boxing. Imagine a man, two and one as a record, fighting to be the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. It can't get any bigger than that. So our focus is winning this fight and see what happens with, with Usyk and Fury because uh, Your Excellency, Turkey Ali Sheikh already said the winners are fighting each other. So we already know mm-hmm. if we win, we in. You know, we will be fighting the winner of Usyk and Fury. That's already been said. So after that, imagine Francis being a UFC champion, being the undisputed boxing champion, all four belts by the end of this year. And then putting the nightcap on it and fighting in the PFL New Year's Eve or something. That would be the most incredible year of any fighter in the history of all fight sports. He'll go down as the number one fighter ever, at least in that one body of work in that one year. It can't be repeated, man. So there's so many things ahead. And the scary thing about life is one step at a time. We have to accomplish the goal, the mission in front of us, and we'll see what that creates. And uh, he'll be ready March 8th. He's inspired. He's working hard. And this is going to be a great fight you guys don't want to miss. Two Adonises, two Herculean bodies, two strong, power-punching men fighting against each other for supremacy and having a chance for the undisputed world titles in boxing as a victor. It can't get any better than that. It can't be in a better city. It can't be in a bigger promotion, man. March 8th, just no team and Gunnel and Preston and Gunnel are coming.